and girls, and welcome to our Our Kids Sunday service. It's a new month, mm -hmm. and I am your host, Teacher Bonnie, and I am with Maya. And my name is Pastor David Ewagata. Yes, uh, thank you guys for coming on this Sunday. Yeah. And so before we go any further, I would like Maya to pray for us. Okay. Let's bow our heads for our order prayer. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for everything that you have given us today. Thank you for a beautiful Sunday morning and a chance to learn about your word again and um, be with us today with everything that we do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Maya. So, boys and girls, I know you're wondering what might be our new theme this month because every month we have a new theme. Mm -hmm. So, the month of July and August, we'll be learning about Joseph is chosen. But during Discovery, guess what? We'll be doing it a bit differently. We'll have Maya represent all the children and ask the tough questions that you may have that are in the Bible. Anything that is in the Bible, be it salvation, maybe about God, who is God, I mean, about Jesus, maybe the prophets. I don't know what questions you might have, but we'll find that out what Maya has to ask. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Here I am on the hot seat. <laughs> yes, and Pastor Iwagata will be answering all the right. hard questions that you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Pastor Iwagata. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine this far. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have some tough questions mm -hmm. for you today. The first tough question is, who created God? Wow. Who created God? The million dollar question. Who created God? Uh, the Bible says... In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yeah. I call this the majestic assumption that God just exists. And uh, the Bible several times just speaks about God creating, God doing, but does not speak into that because he is from eternity past, he is present, and he will be there for eternity. Which is an amazing thing because we cannot understand that in our minds, how eternity even works. And so... Explaining that is a bit difficult to someone who has a timeline to live by. Uh, we see God introduce himself several times and just say, you know, I am from the beginning and I will be even thereafter. Yeah. Colossians 1.17 says, he is before all things and in him all things hold together. And so God was not created. He was not born like a child and grew up and then acquired the career called God. He basically exists. And that is how the Bible presents it. It's called the majestic assumption. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> you have another question? Yes. My second question mm -hmm. is, can God make mistakes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we all make mistakes. Can God make mistakes? Mm -hmm. God is perfect. God is holy. Mm -hmm. uh, God cannot make mistakes. The reason why some people say God made mistakes or makes mistakes is because he created us and then we fell into sin. But God created us with something called free will or choice. Yeah. Um, and he says, if you do this, you will live. If you do this, then this will be the penalty. And for Adam and Eve, it was the tree in the middle of the garden. And they had a choice. Why? Because God did not want us to just follow him like robots, but rather <laughs> choose to follow him. And so when somebody makes a mistake, we ask ourselves, did God make a mistake in making this person who made a mistake? Mm -hmm. But no, God made us with a choice. Uh, God is perfect. Um, and that is, that is his nature, perfection. And so he does not make mistakes. Mm. Okay. okay. Maybe one last question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, my third question <laughs> is, where did Jesus come from? Where did Jesus come from? Every time we hear Jesus, we hear them introduce as God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the Son is Jesus Christ. Now, the Bible says God exists. God was not created. And Jesus was also likewise not created because he's part of what we call the Godhead. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three in one. God in three person. Uh, as we read in the Apostles' Creed. And so Jesus also, like God, was not created. Uh, and he comes and lives in this world and we hear this, we read the story of his birth but basically it was him taking on the nature of human beings and living to die on the cross for us. 
That is why sometimes people make the mistake of thinking Jesus is separate from God, but rather he just came God in human form in the world. Nice. Thank you, Pastor Wagata. Yes, and boys and girls, even in John 1, 2, it tells us that actually Jesus already was, let me read it for you, says that he was with God in the beginning. Oh. He was already there, there, that Jesus was already there, even in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. So I know we would want to hear more answers to, uh, to some questions that we have. But I'll leave it to you to send us the questions so that we go to class mm -hmm. and also do praise and worship. And then we'll see you back here for fun, fun time. time. Yeah. Good morning, boys and girls. It's so good to be with you this morning to just praise and worship God. With me, we have Zaira, Victor, Zoe, Faraji, Alpha, Brianna, and on the band we have Gideon, Michelle, and Ruel. Come join us. Welcome as we praise him.
And not a loser. I am a victor and not a victim. I have changed my mind and my attitude to reflect what God says about me. My faith is built on God's word. I can do all that God says I can do. Nothing is impossible from this moment on. For I am a new breed, a new kind, a remnant, and I am after my purpose. Yay! Hey boys and girls, welcome to our lesson today. I am Teacher Esther and I'm here with Koki! Hi Koki, how are you doing? Chicha Esther, how are you? Good I'm morning! I'm so fine, good morning! Will you pray for us? Yes, Chicha. Okay, boys and girls, let us pray. Oh dear Father God, please help us to learn this day. Please open our minds and give us understanding. We ask for the Holy Spirit to guide us, to protect us, and to lead us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Koki. Do you remember what we were learning last last two months? Ticha. Yeah. Ticha last two. The last two months mm -hmm. we've been learning about mm -hmm. choice fruit. Yes, and what were the choice fruits all about? Ticha, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Ticha. Yeah. Can I tell you my favorite one? Please tell me your favorite lesson. Ticha, my favorite fruit was. Yeah. Patience. Patience. And what did you learn about patience? Teacher, we learned about the Bible story of Joseph. Oh, wow. Do you know that's what we are learning this next few months? That Joseph is chosen. What did you get out of that lesson? Teacher, I learned that mm -hmm. sometimes people can be mean to me, <laughs> but I should be kind to them all the time. Yeah. Boys and girls, we're going to learn the story of Joseph from when he was a young boy to when he was an old man. And we're just going to expand that story completely. So, Koki. Yes, teacher. I know a little bit about your family, yeah? Yes. I know your brother Kobe. You've told me about Baraka, your mom and dad. But do you have cousins? Teacher. Yeah. I have lots of cousins. You have loads of cousins. Teacher, I have a cousin called uh -huh. Kayla. Are you always friends? Chicha Kayla is my best friend. Yeah. You know what? Mm -hmm. We celebrated her birthday last month. And how old was she? She's nine. Oh, okay. But do you sometimes fight? Chicha, yes. What do you fight about? Chicha, sometimes, mm. you know, she got a new bicycle teacher for her birthday. Yeah. And I told her I wanted to ride a bit. Uh -huh. And she refused because she said, Chicha, she keeps telling me, you know, it was my birthday present. Oh, teacher, now she doesn't want to share with me. Mm. <laughs> You see, that's what happens in family. Sometimes we fight, sometimes we argue. But now I'm going to tell you about Joseph and his family. Chicha, yeah? before you tell us about Joseph and his family, yeah. do you have a family? Oh yes, I have a family. I have my family, but I belong to a bigger family. A bigger family where there's my mom, my dad, my brothers, and then my own family, it's me and my daughter. Oh wow, Chicha, you have a daughter? I have a big, big girl. Oh, teacher, now she's going to be my friend. What is her name? Her name is Grace, and she'll be your friend. Okay, teacher, tell us the story about Joseph. About Joseph and his family. So, Joseph belonged to a big family, and his father's name was Jacob, and his grandfather's name was Isaac, and his great-great-grandfather's name was Abraham. And remember we learned about Abraham being chosen, and he was also given a promise. So, this is just 
part of the promise that God had given Abraham. So, boys and girls, before we start on our story, I want us to watch this clip. Joseph sold into slavery. Jacob lived in Canaan, the land God promised to his grandfather, Abraham. Jacob had 12 sons, and he loved them all, but one of them was his favorite. His name was Joseph. Jacob made a beautiful coat for Joseph as a symbol of his deep love for him. When Joseph wore his coat, his brothers became jealous of him and treated him poorly. To make matters worse, Joseph had a dream that made his brothers very angry. In his dream, he and his brothers were gathering bundles of grain. Joseph's bundle then stood up tall while his brother's bundles bowed down to his. Joseph's brothers yelled at him, What? Do you think you are going to rule over us? Who do you think you are? Then Joseph had another dream. In this dream, the sun, moon, and eleven stars were bowing down to him. The sun symbolized his father, the moon was his mother, and the eleven stars were his brothers. This time, Joseph's father became angry with him. He said, Shall your mother and I and your brothers really bow down to you? As unlikely as that seemed, Jacob remembered the dream. He wondered if it would come true. But Joseph's brothers became envious. Their hatred for Joseph continued to grow. One day Joseph's brothers were tending their flocks out in the fields. Jacob sent Joseph to check on them and bring a report back to him. Joseph went looking but couldn't find them in Shechem. A man told him to check in Dothan. That's where he found them. While Joseph was still a long way off, his brothers recognized him and said, Here comes that dreamer. Let's kill him and throw his body into a pit. We can tell our father that a wild beast attacked him. We'll make sure those silly dreams he had will never come true. But the oldest brother, Reuben, spoke up and said, No, let's not kill him. Let's throw him into a dry water hole out in the wilderness. Reuben's plan was to come back later and rescue Joseph and take him back to their father. Reuben didn't actually care about Joseph. He just wanted to gain his father's favor by being Joseph's rescuer. When Joseph arrived, his brothers tore off his colorful coat and threw him into the empty water hole. Then they sat down to enjoy a meal. Joseph would die of thirst in the pit if they left him there. As a group of traders on their way to Egypt appeared in the distance, one brother, Judah, had an idea. You know, we don't want to be blamed for Joseph's death. After all, he is our brother. Let's sell him as a slave to these traders. So that's what they did. They sold Joseph to the traders for 20 pieces of silver. Reuben was gone when all this occurred. When he returned and saw that his brothers had sold Joseph, he became worried. What am I going to do, he thought. How am I going to explain this to our father? One of the brothers had an idea. I know, he said. Let's dip Joseph's colorful coat in goat's blood and take it to our father. Then he will think some wild animal ate Joseph. And more importantly, he won't think we had anything to do with Joseph's death. The brothers tore up Joseph's coat, killed one of their goats, and dipped the coat in the goat's blood. When they brought the coat to their father, he believed Joseph was devoured by a wild animal. Jacob was very sad and cried for days and days. Yet his sons didn't tell him that Joseph was actually still alive. When the traders arrived in Egypt, they sold Joseph to Potiphar, the captain of Pharaoh's guard. Joseph was a good servant to Potiphar, but he ended up in prison for something he didn't do. While in prison, Joseph helped some of Pharaoh's servants by telling them what their dreams meant. One night, Pharaoh had a troubling dream of his own. None of his wise men understood the meaning of the dream. Pharaoh was upset until one servant remembered that Joseph had the ability to understand dreams. Pharaoh called for Joseph, and Joseph told him the meaning. Pharaoh was so pleased that he made Joseph the ruler over all Egypt. Seven years later, there was a terrible famine. Jacob sent Joseph's brothers to Egypt to buy food. They met Joseph again and bowed before him just like in Joseph's dreams. Joseph forgave his brothers and believed that God gave him his position in Egypt to rescue his family from the famine. God had a plan all along, and Joseph was glad to be a part of it. He knew God loved him no matter how others treated him. So, what did you get from that clip, Koki? 
Chicha. Mm -hmm. I've seen mm -hmm. Jacob. He had many sons, Chicha. Yes. How many were there? Chicha, they, Chicha, they were twelve. Yeah, twelve sons. And and Joseph was the what? What born? Mm, Chicha Joseph was. Was it the last born? No. Out of the twelve sons. Joseph was the 11th born son. And in this story, we hear that Jacob loved Joseph so much that he bought him a new coat. Can you see what I'm wearing? Oh, teacher, Ooh. nice. Yes, teacher, I you're the, so smart. I wanted the kids to see a nice colorful coat. So it was beautiful. It was more colorful than this. But Joseph's brothers did not like him. They were extremely jealous of him. Teacher, why? because he was his father's favorite son and there was one thing that joseph used to do every time he was out in the fields with his brothers if they did anything wrong he used to go and tell the father so they didn't like him because he was a telltale mm -mm, and cocky sometimes i think you are a telltale <laughs> <laughs> teacher, of course i have to tell on my brother kobe when he does bad things outside <laughs> so Jacob bought um, Joseph a beautiful coat and his brothers now became jealous because they didn't get anything. Does that sometimes happen to you, Koki? Teacher sometimes, yes, teacher it sometimes, does. yes. Anyway, one day, Joseph has a dream. And in this dream, him and his family were out in the field. They were collecting all the wheat and they were putting them together in sheaves. And his sheaf stood up and his brother's sheaves bent down to him. Cha, yeah. Cha, what is a sheaf? What a is sheaf? a sheaf? Now, when we collect the wheat, they come out in long stalks and they gather them together, and it looks like um, a bunch of big, big bunch of hay or big, big bunch of wheat. There's a picture for you to see, so you'll understand better. So, his sheep stood up and their sheaves bent down, and they looked at him very angrily and asked. You think one day we're, we are going to bow down to you. Remember, Joseph was a very young boy at this time. And they were like, we're older than him. We're not going to bow down to him. They got even more angry. And Joseph continued dreaming. So this next dream, Joseph says that the sun, the moon, and 11 stars all bowed down to him. His brothers had had enough now. Teacher, yeah. can I tell you something? Tell me something. Teacher, even me, I've tried to look at the sun and yeah. sometimes I see the moon. Teacher, but how can the sun and the moon bow Be down out. to someone? But they were out even at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see this was really a dream. Yes. So all these were bowing down to Joseph and they were looking at him and saying, mm, 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 mm. how? How can this happen? Even his father, when he had the dream, Jacob, he said, ah, oh, how? You think we're going to bow down to him, but he sat down and he thought about it. But his brothers continued being very jealous of him, but his father kept the dreams in mind. Wow, Ticha, Ticha, that was such a nice story. Mm -hmm. Ticha, mm -hmm. can I tell you what I have learned? Please tell me what you have learned. Ticha, I've learned that yeah. Jacob had 12 sons. Yes. I've also learned that. Yeah. Sometimes, mm -hmm. some people won't like me. You see, Joseph's brothers did, did not like him. him. Yeah. Teacher, but mm -hmm. you should always be kind to yes. everyone. Exactly. And also, what else we have learned is that Jacob loved all his sons, but he loved Joseph more. And we have learned about the two dreams that Joseph had. True? Yes, teacher. So, do you, do you want to give them the memory verse or shall I give them the memory verse? Teacher, mm -hmm. let me read the memory verse okay. for the boys, boys and, and girls. girls. Let's listen to the memory verse and we repeat after Koki. Our memory verse for today yes. comes from the book of Genesis, mm -hmm. chapter 37, verse, verse 3. Okay. It says, mm -hmm. now is Israel, teacher, why is it saying Israel? We learned about Jacob. Jacob, I know, I know. So what happened before God changed Jacob's name to Israel? Yeah, in, in Genesis chapter 35 or something like that, we find out that he said, you will no longer be called Jacob, you will now be called Israel. So don't get confused when we say now Israel loved 
Jacob, Joseph Mo. Israel and Jacob are the same person. Okay, teacher, can I read it again? Please do. Okay, Genesis chapter 37 verse 3. Mm -hmm. It says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his sons mm -hmm. because he was the son of his old, old age. age. And he made, made him a robe of many colors. Did I tell you something? Yes. I'm going to draw Jacob's robe and color it. Please do. Remember my lovely robe of many colors. So, another thing that I want boys and girls to know is about how this story points to Jesus. Yeah? You know, God has loved us and he sent us his beloved son. And he has shown love to all of us. And Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Just like Jacob loved his son, God has loved each and every one of us equally and has sent us a bigger gift in his son. So, boys and girls, would you like to become in the family of God? Would you like to say this prayer with me? Let's bow our heads and put our hands together. Okay, are you ready to pray together with the boys and girls? Teacher, yes. Okay. Father, Father, actually you want to pray to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I confess with I confess, my mouth. I confess with my mouth. And believe in my heart. And believe in my heart. That you are my Lord and Savior. That you are my Lord and Savior. Today, Today, write my name. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. In the Lamb's Book of Life. So I can become. So I can become part of God's family. Part of God's family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, you are now part of God's family. We have talked about Joseph's family. Now you are part of God's bigger family. Welcome. So the angels are dancing in heaven. So, boys and girls, I have an exercise for you. Even you, Koki, I hope you're listening. Teacher, yes. I want you to imagine you're Joseph. And do you know all the names of the people in your family? Teacher, teacher I don't know all of them, of course. I the don't. ones that you know. Mm. You know your cousins' names. You know your uncle's names, you know your aunties, all the people that you know and you have met. So you know their names. Yeah. So pretend you're Joseph. He had 11 brothers. I want you to memorize all their names. Yeah, it's all in the Bible. The first born is Reuben. The second one is Simeon. Third born Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Gad, Asher, Dan, Naphtali, and Benjamin. Those names are hard. Teacher, yes. <laughs> Teacher, you know, I've never seen someone called Zebulun. Ze Maybe they have shortened it to Zeb. And it's a, you know. Or Zeba. Or Zebra. Oh, it, but the name God, Asha. So those are easy names. Teacher, Levi. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So I want you to memorize them. On top of memorizing your memory verse. Yeah? Our application for today. God is working a fantastic plan in all our lives. This is just the beginning of seeing how God is working a plan in Joseph's life. So even for you, Koki, God is working a fantastic plan in your life. If things go wrong, if things go right, God is working a fantastic plan. So it's offering time. Yay! Are you going to show tell them how to do their offering, Koki? Okay, teacher. Okay. Boys and girls, Please get your offerings ready and make your offering payable to the numbers that are on the screen. Be blessed as you give. Yay! So boys and girls, that's our lesson for today. We learned about Joseph being a dreamer and how, what his dreams are all about and him getting a fantastic new coat like mine. So until next time, it's time for... What are they going for now? Fun time. Fun time. Yes, it's time for fun time. So, bye until next week. Welcome boys and girls to Fun, fun time. time. I'm sure yeah. you guys had fun during class time and even the praise and worship, yeah? 
So it's time for fun time. And because our theme is Joseph is chosen. Chosen. <laughs> chosen. Chosen. <laughs> yeah, yes, okay. chosen. Yes, mm. Joseph is chosen. And so the fun time title for today is Joseph, Joseph or Joseph. So there are many Josephs in the Bible. Mm. So the, I want you to pick your answers from these three Josephs. So there is Joseph the dreamer, and then there is Joseph uh, the husband of Mary, and then there is Joseph of Arimathea. Got it? Those three Josephs. <laughs> so boys and girls, so the first question, let's see, is it Pastor Iwagata or is it a representative from our kids? I know, our kids will win. <laughs> So the first be nice, one. Man. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> the first mm. Joseph. So tell me which Joseph is this? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So this Joseph uh, had the most recorded dreams in the Bible. Mm -hmm. One. Two, oh, Joseph, Joseph, the father of Jesus. Why? But there's Joseph, the dreamer. <laughs> okay. Joseph was married. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hey, the first Joseph had the most recorded dreams in the Bible, and um, he had dreams about angels, and he just had the most dreams. Yeah, he actually he had... appeared several times. Yes. Yes, in his dreams. Yeah. He had four dreams. He used to sleep a lot, eh? <laughs> So do we call him Joseph the Sleeper, the Dreamer? No, Joseph Wameri is okay. Okay, Joseph, yeah. wa Joseph Wameri. Okay, so mm -hmm. this other Joseph. Mm -hmm. So this Joseph uh, is the only one who is mentioned in the four Gospels. Boys and girls, I hope you know what the four Gospels are. These are the first four books in the New, New Testament. Testament. Mm -hmm. yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, mm -hmm. and John. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so which Joseph? Is it Joseph Wameri, Joseph the Dreamer, or Joseph? I think it's Joseph of Arimathea. Yes, correct. That is true. Okay, the third question. I think this what one. What did he do? Huh? Who? He's the one who. He was mentioned many times yes. in the in the. He's in the one the who gave the spells. tomb for Jesus to be buried in, right? Sasa pasi. And you, you, you know just, the other just question that. I was no. going to ask. Okay, go to Why do you one. have leakage? Okay, go to the next one. That was the question. So. <laughs> So our third question was, because Pasi already gave it away, is which Joseph took down Jesus' body from the cross, wrapped it in spices, and put him in a used tomb? Which was Joseph? Ta -da! Oh, I remember. Uh, <laughs> he already see, gave uh, it uh, away. I gave a leakage. I gave a leakage. You know, okay. Uh, mm. Nukweli, by the way. <laughs> so there is this other Joseph who mm -hmm. had a coat of many colors. Boys and girls, before Maya gets it, it's Joseph. Ooh, the uh, dreamer. Yes. Yes. Joseph the dreamer. Uh -huh. So one more. No, two more. So oh. there's this Joseph. Uh, his father, his father's name was Jacob. This is interesting. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think we'll repeat the same answer mm -hmm. that Which Maya is? mentioned. Joseph the dreamer. But also in the Bible, it says that even Joseph Wameri, his father was also Jacob. So in a different Tunasebagani. Did he have a coat of many colors? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go with the one for many colors. Okay, the last one, boys and mm -hmm. girls. Mm -hmm. So this Joseph was a disciple of Jesus, but kept it secret for fear of the Jews. One... Two, three, four. Joseph. They don't know. Of Arimathea. Yes. Thank you, Percy. <laughs> yes, it was Joseph of <sighs> Arimathea. Hey, I wasn't going to fail this one. Hmm. <laughs> At least we may just say. So, boys and girls, I hope you got it right. Now you've learned that there are many Josephs in the Bible. Bible. Mm -hmm. And before we finish, Pastor Wagata, kindly bless the children. All right. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because of the knowledge and the understanding of your word. We pray that, Lord, even as we understand the choosing of Joseph, and Lord, even as we have looked at the different uh, names that we have, or the different characters of Joseph mentioned in the Bible, I pray that, Lord, you would help us to study the word, to understand how you have also chosen us. 
to be vessels in your hands. And so, Lord, may you bless us, bless the children as they go to their different uh, schools or studies. Lord, may you bless them in their week, bless their parents, and Lord, may you be with them for this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye. See you.